Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio. Today, I want to talk about publicists. So I got a couple questions the other day through my Instagram and they wanted to know if they need a publicist at this point and exactly what a publicist should do for them for their music. So I decided to do a whole video on it. Basically publicists, they run the media side of your music release for you. So they have connections with like authors, business owners, different types of publications, different newspapers, all kinds of things to get you interviews and possible music reviews and things like that. And they should have these relationships with these contacts already established basically. So they can easily just get you in. So that's basically what they do. Now the question is, do you need one necessarily? If you're an indie artist, you might not right now. So there's two things you got to think about. Either A, I'm an indie artist, I have a fan base, it's not humongous yet, and I don't really have a budget for a publicist. That's no problem. You can do it yourself. Or if you do have a budget and you do have thousands and thousands of fans and you're making some money, then yeah, you might want to spend some money on one. But let me tell you first what you should expect out of a music publicist. See, the role is changing because music is so different now. So the role of a publicist has kind of evolved somewhat. Now, sometimes they might even be able to get you on TV to do like a morning show on the news or something like that, because that's all media outlets basically. And I'm sure you've seen in your local area, like sometimes the morning news shows will have like some type of band on, or at least my area does. I'm sure it's like that all over. You gotta understand how much things have changed. A lot of people just stick to online. A lot of people don't even read paper publications at all anymore. Don't get me wrong, there still is a large part of the population that does, but it's moving all towards digital more. So basically you don't want a publicist that is kind of behind in the times. You want one that is almost a pro at doing things online. So whether you need to do this yourself because of your budget or if you can hire one, make sure they have connections with people that could get you on playlists. And playlists, I mean on Spotify, on Amazon, on Tidal, on Google Play, all that stuff. Playlists are huge. I just did a video recently and think about it. Say they get you on a playlist for working out. People like to listen to music when they work out and they have a popular one where people like to listen to it while they work out, things like that. If they could get you on there, imagine the fan base you could build from that. People are working out, listening to your song. Man, I like this song. They look at it, it says your name, boom. You might have an instant fan right there. So try to get a publicist with multiple connections to these types of services that can get you on playlists on streaming services. Now also, you want one who not only has connections with traditional media like newspapers and magazines and things, make sure they have connections with blogs. Blogs, vlogs, all that good stuff. Because there are many websites out there, many blogs, that talk about new music. And there's also vloggers who video record themselves on YouTube or whatever platform, and they might review music, talk about music, they might just play it in the background. Because they can also get you into articles that talk about multiple artists at the same time. Do you ever see those? Like you'll see something, I don't know, maybe on Buzzfeed or other things that'll say, these are the top five jazz songs to listen to this summer. And that's where you're, if you get on, in on something like that, it could be tremendous for your career. So besides traditional services that a publicist can do, make sure they're one step above into the digital scene. It's extremely important. And just remember, now is a single driven market. A lot of artists don't even want to put albums out anymore. They say the traditional album is dying. Sort of true with new artists, but you'll see a lot of traditional classic artists, popular yet classic artists still put full albums out and that's perfectly fine. But think about it. If you can release a single, a new single or a new feature on a song, especially the new single part, you know, every few months, you can do that. You, you shouldn't be crazy and release a ton at once because it'll be, you know, you'll saturate the market and bleh. And also, you know, when you release one song, it takes about four weeks, four to six weeks to get on all the streaming platforms. So you gotta give some time in between. So if you just wanna release singles, feel free. A lot of people are making a living, a killing, just releasing singles. 
I don't even think about albums anymore. Which sometimes, if you honestly, I, I love albums, but I don't like just throwing together albums. I want, if I'm gonna listen to an album, I want a concept there or something cool to make it go along. So I wanna listen to every song front to back. But if you think about it, the singles, they're the best songs usually. A lot of albums have, yeah, the one or two singles that they release, but it'll have a lot of filler. That no, you know, I call them track skippers. <laughs> Where you, you know, you get to that song in the album and you skip it. You're like, eh, I never liked that one. But singles, you can release your best songs every four to six months if you want. No filler. <laughs> so if you want to, don't be afraid to just release singles. You don't have to worry about a full album. But if you want to do full album, that's no problem at all either because it's still popular. And also to have some kind of concept behind it. Something different. Like remember when Kendrick Lamar did the one album, his last album, I think it was the last album, Damn, I think it was called. He supposedly had every song was kind of like a story. When you listen to a forward, and then if you start with the last song and listen back all the way to the front, there's another story there. And that was a cool concept. It got people talking. It got the blog people to talk about it. And it made the album more popular. So do something like that. Something different. Think unique. Think outside of the box. And you'll really see that it's could really make a difference in your career. People like that kind of thing. So, so as far as the publicist, yeah. If you have the budget and you have the fans and you're making the money, do it. But make sure they're modern. If you have to do it yourself, no problem either. Just try to establish contacts. Even if it's a slow build up for years. It, it's amazing what a good solid email or a good solid phone call can do if you're just willing to do it and willing to be persistent without being a pain in the ass. So, but that's about it. So that's what it is with publicists. If you need to do it yourself, it's great. It's no problem. Just build the contacts and be professional for sure. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Share it. Please share the video so other artists and bands can get this knowledge. And also, look in the description below. There are tons of things to help your music career. Look down below. You'll see what I mean. Click on the links and take advantage of whatever is down there. Also, for Send Me Music Friday, if you want your music mentioned and a short review on Fridays, in the description there's directions on what you need to do to get the music to me. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next video.